Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over the round function in Excel. So I've got a blank worksheet here set up, but uh, I need some numbers to round. So I'm going to jump over here, and I'm going to use a couple functions. I'll do a RAND between um, 100 to 999, and I'm going to add a RAND. So there's two functions. RAND between will give me a lower limit and an upper limit. I'm sorry, RAND between gives me a lower limit and an upper limit. The RAND function gives me a random number between 0 and 1. So if I press my Enter key now, I should have a three-digit number, point, and then some uh, series of decimals. There we go. And I can just auto-fill that down. And then I can put my cursor on the border, right-click, drag away, drag back, copy here as values only. So I've locked these numbers in. So now I have a bunch of random numbers with a lot of decimal places. The round function requires two arguments. It requires the number or value that you want to round, and it requires do you want to round it to the right of the decimal or to the left of the decimal. So you can round a number to zero, and that'll round it to a whole number. You can round a number negative one, and that's going to round it one place to the left of the decimal. You can round it negative two, two places to the left of the decimal. Positive one, one to the right, positive 2, 2 to the right, positive 3, 3 to the right, and so on. Now that we have our arguments, we can simply head over and choose to write the round function. I'm going to round the number that's in cell A2. How many digits? The value that's in cell B2. So this should get me a number rounded just to the whole number. So we should expect it to be something like 358. There we go. So that's the rounded version. So 357.6 rounds up to 358. If this number was a 0.4, it would have round down to 357. So let's go ahead and autofill this down. So rounding 999.8, one place to the left of the decimal is going to get me 1,000. Here we go. 855 rounded two places to the left of the decimal rounds up to 900. So if this was 849 instead of 855, what would you expect? Well, it should be 800. Sure enough, we get 800. So that round function has two simple arguments. Now, if you start to memorize the round function, and I expect that you might, then you can start to do a lot of other things with it too. So instead of having to have our, our arguments in separate cells, we can just write equals round. Go ahead and round. Um, give me a random number. I'm going to round a random number between 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, there's the 4, comma, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's going to give me a weird number, comma, and then the argument that I want, I'm going to do negative 2 for two places to the left of the decimal. Close that parentheses, and now I should get a random number that is that rounds to some $100 value. There we go, 3,900. It's my random number. The number or value that you want to round, and then a negative or positive number for the place that you want to round to.